1966, a frustrated, attention-starved actress who wanted more than anything else to be famous, and her name was Jacqueline Suzanne. She wrote a book that became an overnight sensation. It was called Valley of the Dolls. It told the tawdry tale of three Hollywood stars and exposed a world of uppers and downers and, and all kinds of sexual acts. And it went on to become the best-selling novel of all time. And she wrote several other books after that. They were all bestsellers. And indeed, it made her famous. It turned the name Jacqueline Suzanne into a household world. And now the divine Bette Midler, who's a household world, takes on that larger-than-life role of Jacqueline Suzanne in a new movie called Isn't She Great? That's what Jacqueline Suzanne's husband always said, Isn't She Great? He's played by Nathan Lane in this movie. And take a look at Bette Midler, Isn't She Great? Look. She's taken to this writing thing like a duck to water. She calls me her literary advisor, Irving. her muse. Irving. Her muse. Irving. I don't know. Yeah? Can I write about having orgasms? Yes. You've never heard such typing. She's a regular Shakespeare Irving. now. Irving. <laughs> yes? What about orgasms in swimming pools? Even better. <laughs> Did you hear? Even Shakespeare didn't think of that on his best day. Thank you very much. You really much. look great. Thank you. Yeah. You are our favorite person. You know that. I'm just I'm in resort you. wear. You're wearing, I'm you're wearing resort wear. I see. Cruise wear. <laughs> I've never been on a cruise. <laughs> I'm wearing the, the Are look. you trying to sort of solicit one or something? <laughs> Is that it? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Although, if you have a stateroom on the inside, you're going to die. If you have a stateroom with a little porthole where you can get fresh air, you'll be fine. This is what I heard. My friend told me. He was a, a, he was a, a director on a, a, of a I, of, you thank know, of the you show. For sharing this thank with you. Us. Anyway, blue. I want to you look in the dead of winter. Right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so secrets, secret, secret. Jacqueline Suzanne, whom you know, I knew very well. You were too young to know her. She was a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> she had two secrets, which I won't reveal because I don't want people not to be, you know case they're going to see the movie. Very serious secrets that she kept all her life. I didn't know them. Mm -hmm. Now, can someone do that today? Can someone in the public eye keep a secret? Can you? I think I can. I think I can, and I believe that I do. I think it's a choice that people make. I, I know uh, from personal experience there are people who are in show business who have made conscious choices, and uh, certain parts of their life are simply off limits to the press and the public. And I think it's a choice that you make. And once you've made that choice, the people who make that choice usually stick by it. And it's, it's just, they, they obfuscate. They just obfuscate, they it? ignore, they, you know, they, they take a little twist and a turn. You keep your private life private. Yes, and when I you do. go out in public, you look so I lie, lie, lie. lie. <laughs> but also, you take off the makeup, you pull your hair back. Yes, I've been I do. with you. I yes, mean, you I... don't want you don't want fame, fame, fame. You want to No, no, I don't. I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. But you do I enjoy to... certain parts of it. I love to get a nice table at a restaurant. Yeah. I don't like to sit next to the kitchen. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't like to sit under the draft, under the uh, under the the air conditioning. I don't want to sit next to the television. I want to. Be, I just like to sit in a nice, quiet corner. That's a, something you get when you're a celebrity. They do give you a nice table at a restaurant. Otherwise, it's every man for himself, really, in the rest of life. Jacqueline Suzanne wanted desperately to be famous. She, uh, yes, she did. And I could you relate to that? I certainly could, because I, I, because I think I. That's what got me into it in the first place. There was something about the glamour, the makeup, the lights, the people looking all pink on the stage. That I, I. I it, I'm like a magpie, you know, shiny things. You just kind of, so is it, you're mesmerized. It's a kind of a hypnosis, and it hits you when you're very young, and then when you're older, and you say, what, what, what the heck was that? You know, what was it about it that got me so enamored? Because it's really not anything like what's, what it's cracked up to be, not even remotely. Why not? The work is so hard, 
and the maintenance is so expensive. <laughs> and the, it really is, it's, a, it's real drudgery. It's di a different kind of drudgery than sitting in front of a computer 12 hours a day, but it is truly drudgery. It really is. To be famous and to act. Uh, to be famous and to, and to maintain yeah. your image and your, 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 your place in space is truly hard work. If people, I mean, you, the idea of it is to make it look effortless and to never talk about it, darling. I just, I just got out of bed and I look like, like this. That. And it doesn't, it's not true. I'm sorry to burst everybody's bubble. Yeah, but the thing, that, the difference between me and Jackie was that I could sing. I, I could, I you was... You had talent. I, well, I didn't want to say that. Yeah, I can say it. I don't want to say that. You have a little talent. You can sing. But you she, can you know what, I'll you tell you something. She had talent, too. When I read her books... Her ear for dialogue was really excellent. She, as she was in that milieu, that show business milieu, where people were down and dirty, and she caught it. Yeah. And she caught it on paper. Sometimes the plot is a little thick, but the dialogue is always accurate. I've got to ask you one question before the other ladies come back, because you and I have done so they're coming many. Back. They're coming back. <laughs> Sophie. So when I interviewed you ages ago, when Sophie, you're, how old is Sophie now? She's 13. 13. Look at how the face changes. Uh, you, oh, she was not going to watch television. Oh, you were going to, Sophie was going to be, you know, she, she was not going to be raised like everybody else's kids, so she's 13. Tell us about her now. Please. Well, she's perfect. Yes, but? <laughs> but tell them what you're well, about. Well, I was on the road, and, and, and her father let her uh, dye her hair pink. <laughs> yeah. I said, said to him, you know, you're such a pushover. You're <laughs> such a pushover. You know that I would have given you a hard, given her a much harder time. But it was okay. It was it was a little. He adores strip. her. Oh, yeah. he worships he's, the ground yeah. she walks on. And she, she knows it too. She's just like, she's just knitting, playing him like, oh, there's my dad. Yeah, but yeah. she's a lot like Mama. <laughs> she's awful lot like you. Well. Yeah. yeah, she's tough. Yeah. She's tough. I, have the, to, I, have to I, I do have to say, though, that you do be, uh, I want a, a big difference. She still doesn't watch TV, though. Ah, she I doesn't see. have the TV habit. She really? will watch a video, hmm. and if there's a news report or a big storm coming and we want to watch the Weather Channel, she'll do that. But she doesn't have the habit where you turn it on, and it's on five hours a day. I know in a lot of homes, people use it for company, but we don't. We don't well, you work. have enough company. You, you are wonderful. You, have you're, you do have company. Two things. Number one, unlike Jacqueline and Suzanne, you do have a private life. You do have this, this husband of many years. You do have... You know, she groaned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not, yeah. And you do... You We've been married I, 16 years. Is it really? 16 years. 16 God, years. I remember that. In the yellow suit. In the yellow suit. Yes. My anyway. word, his hair is white. His hair has gone from brown to white. He has, doesn't have any... I mean, he's just like aged. I said, darling, you... You, I look so fabulous. You look so... <laughs> anyway, the other thing is no one has done more for this city, cleaning up the parks, doing, making this livable, than Beth Midler from the Restoration Project. Thank you. She Thank has you. time for that. I don't know how you do it, but you've got time. And if I don't shut up and let my pals in to talk to you, there will be no time. So they're going to come back. They have a few thousand questions to ask you. And some of the questions that you've been wanting to ask, diehard Beth Midler fans are going to hear them. We'll be right back. Okay. Stick around, because Bar Is the best yet to come, or have you been there all day? I think this is it. Do you really? I do, but I don't think At it's 34, bad. At 34, you think that this is it? Well, I'd like, well, yeah. You're not going to get higher. It's not going to get better. Is there any more? Yeah. What else is there? We're back talking with Beth Midler. I mean, were you right? I mean, was it over? I mean, yeah, did it sure. get better? It, it, it absolutely got better. Everything got better. So there were some very bad moments between that, between that and this, but, but on the whole, it was fantastic. It's been quite a ride. I, when I turned 50, I, looked, I took a look back, and I had, had never had the opportunity to actually sit down and take a look back, and I was actually very proud of what, had, what I had done and, what, and the people that I had met and all the things. The, the, the amount of joy that I get brought to a lot of people who let me know that I had given them joy was, you was terrific. You I could have gone out there right then. I'd be perfectly happy. What about the next 10 years? I'm not so sure about that. You know what? I don't... I f I'm, I'm at the point now where I feel like I've done a lot. I've done, I've, I've done everything that I set out to do, plus stuff that I didn't know uh, I, I, I was obliged to do. I mean, I took on burdens that I didn't know I was going to, do, going to take on, like the NYRP, like the cleanup, like the... I didn't know I was going to go to that particular place. And once I got there and stopped being so self-involved and so interested in show business and everything, my whole life changed. And really, truly, I've had so much satisfaction in the last five years. True, true joy. 
by, by raising people's awareness, by having people uh, invent uh, projects. I've, there's a lady here in the audience tonight who, today, who uh, has her own her own cleanup project. I mean, I've done. I'm really proud of what I've done. I mean, I'm not a Gandhi. I didn't, you know, I wasn't Martin Luther King, but in my own little way, I did something, and I and that was great. That's it. That's fantastic. I agree. Yeah. our audience if you have any questions for Beth please email us thousands of oh. emails later all right we have a few we pull some all right okay. here are a few of them this is from Lynn from North Carolina writes dear Bet, when you started out in the bathhouses of New York City you had to be outrageous to get noticed yeah. what kind of outrageous thing would you have to do now if you were a newcomer you know what I have no earthly I think you'd have to sing buck naked I, really <laughs> do. I think you would have to sing uh, I don't know I don't know sprawled out and some I, I, I feel bad for some for, for some of the artists that I see working today because it the, the cult the thing that the culture is so numb by everything that it's been through in the last 10 15 years nothing shocks anybody anymore it's all like a big blur and maybe, there's so much of it maybe you have to go the other way and just stand on stage with a gorgeous black dress and sing now well I think a nun's a nun's <laughs> habit would, re, would really <laughs> shock there you go. that's, what I, that's a good a idea habit. you came out at the end of your uh, of your wonderful show which I saw at Madison Square Garden in the last when you sang your, your you know your your real serious songs yeah, yeah. you came out in that wonderful simple black dress yes that was after beautiful. all the glitz and glitter yes everybody yes. that's only for somebody with some real talent yeah, yeah. yeah that all you need is a little accompaniment and that voice ah, that's yes, all you need Thank okay. you. This is from Charmaine from Kentucky. This is like a love Who writes, <laughs> wherever you go, it's a love in bed. Dear mm -hmm. Bet, if you had to choose someone other than yourself, even though Sophia Loren played herself, you may not want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to choose you. someone... <laughs> Joy! Oh, really? Well, people say I look like her. You're prettier. You're cuter. I could play you. You could, I could play you. But minute. I could only play you at this stage in your life. <laughs> um, so who would it be, really? This woman says, crazy as it sounds, I picked Courtney Love. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. She has a, she has a lot going on. Yeah. She's, got, she's vibrant. She has a lot of energy. I've seen her show, not her show, but I saw that little thing that she did on, uh, I think it was on, on an MTV. Uh, they did a, a thing of her, her and her band, and she was good, and the songs were good. Uh -huh. So, so sure. she, you, she would, you would pick her, or? I don't know if I would pick her. I mean, she'd be in my <laughs> range of candidates. <laughs> <laughs> the young bet would be different from the middle But I'm not so sure she's so funny. Oh. I mean, she's not a laugh riot. Yeah. She's yeah. more serious than... than Actually, yeah. she has she's a great sense of humor. She's been on She here. has a good sense very of humor. Very good she's sense of humor. Very, very good oh. sense of humor. There are not that many... You said it's a love fest, but there are not that many people who can be funny and who have voices and can act. Streisand is one. Yes. You're yes. another. I can't think of a lot who have that range of talent. So Streisand could play you. How's that? <laughs> I don't oh. care for that. Oh. I don't think she would go there. No, I, not I, after I, what I did to her in the Las Vegas. Oh, tell them what you no, did. I can't. Tell them what you did. Evil. What'd you do? No, no, actually, it wasn't evil. It was a tribute. What'd you do? Well, Barb was playing at the MGM. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> well, it was a tribute. Barb was playing at the that, MGM, yeah. and I was playing at the Mandalay. So I said, you know, we were, I was in a, do you know that I beat Cher on Celebrity Deathmatch? Did you know that? I did. I was so excited. <laughs> Thing, but anyway, me. so I was telling my audiences as I, I, uh, on the tour that I was going head to head with Barbara, and of course, you know, she her ticket price was way more than mine was. I, I was priced very sensibly, I thought. <laughs> anyway, so so for, so for New Year's Eve, we had a Barbara Streisand impersonator. We had a Barbara Streisand impersonator come out, and and I said, Barbara, what are you doing here? And she said, Oh, I came, my sh I came, I, I walked off the stage at 11:22. I said, Why? She said, The teleprompter broke. <laughs> Did you know she has these big teleprompters? Oh, I shouldn't be telling the story. Uh, anyway, people, she, we had a, such a good impersonator that they thought it was, a lot of people thought it was she. It was really? a man? It was she a was man? She was a fantastic, no, it was a girl. Oh, it was a girl? It was a girl. I didn't know if it was a drag. And she, no, 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 it was, okay. was not a drag. I yeah. had no drags. But I, but, uh, but they, she, we had the best one, and she is, she honors Barbara. Oh. So we had a little, we had some jokes, and she made us change them because she would never say any. So I respected that. Yeah. And it was a very we, cute bit. We all love Barbara. We don't mind at no. all if she'd like to call up and come on the show and come on. Has she ever been on? No. no. She, well, they'll throw down the gauntlet, go, you know. Exactly. Yeah, no, we'd always love to have Barbara. We love having you on. You I fit right in. I do, <laughs> don't I? Look, 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 look.
o'clock. I know, boy. Are we having a good time today? We are so happy to have Bette Midler back in the house. It's wonderful. Thank her you. new movie, Isn't She Great?, opens nationwide in theaters. Tomorrow, we'll be right back with BW's Mailbag. Stay right there.